And uh, so why Istio? So, uh, you know, you've talked about ha, the Miller building. Istio is a key component there. Why, yeah. why Istio over, you know, other options or build it yourself or, yeah. or, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, I have to say options now are uh, slightly growing. At the time, there was less options. That's mm -hmm. certainly true. Uh, we're not looking at changing right now, but the fact is when we picked, there was really no other uh, option to do what we wanted to do, which was really for us, not just a savvy smash, but really that mutual TLS enforcement denial by default mm -hmm. uh, and being able to issue uh, certificates for service dynamically with no human in the loop and rotating them and, and whitelisting traffic to, uh, to have that zero trust behavior. That was really the, the main reason why we picked Istio mm -hmm. at the time. Now you have, you know, Linkerd and Kuma and others, whatever, coming with uh, kind of the same capabilities. Uh, and, and there is pros and cons in every implementation and things like that. But um, really for us, you know, the open source components and, you know, we, we had a big push with Google, making sure they, they start, uh, you know, really opening also the governance and, and a lot of that mm -hmm. stuff with, uh, with Istio because, you know, uh, we want to make sure that no single company is controlling the uh, landscape and mm -hmm. both on the trademark. So, so why the trademark came to be is really because I complain about it because for us, um, for us, the trademark matters because I can't mandate something that has a trademark uh, assigned to mm -hmm. one company. So I, then I could not say you have to use Istio because it would mm -hmm. be mandating a, a company yeah. uh, even though it's open source, uh, doesn't matter. So by making it part of a nonprofit uh, that solved that problem. So we might not help a lot of people for that piece, but uh, the, the next piece of course is the technical uh, steering mm -hmm. and the steering groups and, and, and yeah. the, the governance that's obviously for us very important that not, not one company can uh, push the, the single sided decisions. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I think we're getting there. So that's exciting to see, but uh, I think, you know, uh, obviously East guy has been leading the pack. Um, and that was always uh, very important to us to keep up. A uh, lot of lot of changes. I, my team is not always happy with the breaking changes of one oh, six yeah. and one seven. So yep, yep. you know that. Uh, and we're getting better. And you know, it's it's a it's a big a um, lot of learning. You know, not everyone understands uh, how a service mesh works and and the yeah. benefits of it. Uh, but I think once you get it, and and once you start also embracing the the sidecar model, you can do a lot of pretty cool stuff.